Confederate statues are falling under the weight of protests against racial injustice. Some of the offending statues are actually out of reach for protesters, protected inside the walls of one of the country's most powerful buildings, the U.S. Capitol. Eleven Confederate sculptures stand today in the U.S. Capitol. They're donated by their home states that we found are in no rush to take them out. The pieces are shielded from the country's national statue reckoning in a capital closed to the public during the pandemic. We needed special permission just to film them. Mississippi's governor just agreed to take the rebels' stars and bars off the state flag, but his office would not say if he'd support removing their two Confederate statues in the U.S. Capitol. One is Jefferson Davis, the president of the Confederacy, standing in the hallowed statuary hall across from Rosa Parks. This is a, a agreement with the states that goes back to 1864. States are allowed to display any two statues of famous residents. A total of 10 states have 11 Confederate likenesses in the Capitol. General Joseph Wheeler of Alabama depicted in his Confederate uniform. Removing these works requires a state governor's permission. Just two states, Arkansas and Virginia, have started the process of swapping out their Confederate sculptures. Just wondered, what are these people doing here? House Speaker and Democrat Nancy Pelosi supports a change in the law that would allow Congress to send statues back to states or to the Smithsonian. She banished Robert E. Lee to the Capitol crypt years ago. Believe me, if I had more authority, we would have fewer of those statues. But Missouri Senator Republican Roy Blunt says... For now, states should still decide who to put up in the Capitol. He chairs the Senate Rules Committee. I'm encouraged that states are looking at their history, that they're looking at who has come since they put those statues in. But only Georgia would talk to us about whether to remove its Confederate statue. A spokesman for the governor says it would be up to the state legislature to begin that process. Other governors don't seem to want to talk about their state's Confederate ghosts in the U.S. Capitol. Patrick Terpstra, Newsy, Washington.